need another perspective on this. First off, we know what people, you know, we know the rhetoric. Whenever we want to boycott other businesses or just support our own, you know, people always twist that. They, oh, you're racist or you're, that's not right, blah, blah, blah. But, but people like Dr. Claude Anderson make it very clear that they've been boycotting you since forever. Like, they, they've always boycotted black businesses. They've always boycotted black businesses. So if black consumers, excuse me, if black businesses cannot depend on black consumers, then they can't depend on anybody. They have no friends. And the other thing about supporting black businesses is that you're talking about something very basic and very simple when it comes to wealth building. Everybody's talking about reparations right now, and I'm all in support of that. I mean, of course, of course we deserve reparations. No question. Problem is they can't pay the bill. The, the debt's too high. I don't think they're going to pay the full debt. The full debt is at least $15 trillion, but that's assuming, assuming you can put a dollar figure on, uh, on t you know, 100,000 rapes and, and, and 50,000 castrations and whatever the numbers are, right? Assuming I mean, you can put a dollar value on 400 years of trauma and, and family destruction. I mean, assuming you can put a dollar value on it, that number would be about $15 trillion. They're not going to do it. They're talking about half a trillion, a couple hundred billion. They're not even talking about a number. They're talking about numbers that are so low that you almost don't even want it because you don't want them to think that because they wrote the check that everything's okay, that we're all good. If I steal $10 million from you and I write you a check for 5000 bucks and say, we straight now, right? No. You'd be a sucker if you agree to that shit. You'd be a complete idiot. I'm sorry to cop out for cussing. This is coming out. That's God, God's talking to me. I got to share what he tells me. So, so, so here, here's the deal. We're talking about reparations and all this. And those things are important. I support that wholeheartedly. But here's what you got to understand. Is that when you're really talking about economic repair and economic strength. And, and again, I'm not talking about, I'm not chasing equality or diversity or all these other, or inclusion, all these water down. I'm talking about power. If you're talking about building real economic power, you must talk about the way the dollar bill works when you're circulating it through the community. When a dollar is circulated in a community at one time and leaves that community, that's one dollar. When that dollar is circulating 10 times in that community, that one dollar becomes what? Ten dollars, right? So that 1.3 trillion that they talk about every year, and they call it spending power, but that's a horrible term to use because there's no power in giving all your money away. That's like that's like telling a little girl, "Oh, you're beautiful. You have lots of whole power. Like you can be the best hole on the block." That's not power. Like, you're not empowering her by telling her that. You know, you're not doing that. You're not, you can tell her her beauty is power, but you don't tell her like your power is to be the best prostitute you can be. You don't do that. Oh, so when they, somebody tells you that our 1.3 trillion is spending power, then that is a misleading term in itself. But if you take that 1.3 trillion and eat.